Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks, and you're checking out a video for our new contact library, Evoxa, where I'm going to show you how you can import your own samples, your own vocal chops into Evoxa. So we left the script open-ended, not all contact libraries will do that, but you can really import any sample you want, and all it takes is a little bit of contact knowledge. It's really easy and fun to do, so I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So I called my dad, and I asked my dad, I was like, hey, can you shout hey or oh? Maybe like say like damn <laughs> into your phone and send me the audio file. He's not musically inclined at all, and this is actually really funny. So he for some reason labeled the file dad box. I don't know why. Uh, maybe he tried to say, maybe he heard me say vox once and he thought that's what it should be called. But anyway, here are his samples. Oh! Like it's literally him shouting in his living room. Oh! His damn is hilarious. Damn. Uh, that one's actually could be kind of cool, but let's take one of these and pop it into Evoxus. So I'm going to clip clip this with the scissor tool here. Uh, let's just delete this other one here. All right, so here's the sample we're going to be working with. Oh! Okay, now you can trim it up in your DAW, or you can trim it up a little bit in contact with start and end times. It's whatever you're more comfortable doing. Now, if you want to throw on some processing, again, because if you're more comfortable, comfortable in your DAW, you can always do that. So I'm going to throw on some fab filter, uh, volcano filtering, and then CLA vocals with some stereo widening. Oh! Oh! Okay, now I'm going to bounce this out of my DAW. So we've bounced it out of the DAW. It's right here on my desktop. Oh. Okay, we're going to open up Evoxa. And we are going to just navigate to Evoxa using the quick tab, which we talked about in the installation video. Contact, vocal chops. Going to pull up any of them, really. doesn't really matter. We'll pull up this Aussie chop, so it sounds like this right now. Oh. Okay, let's close the quick tab. Now what I'm going to do is hit the wrench. And you want to, you're going to be working with two editors here. You're going to be working in the mapping and the wave editor. And they are these right here. This right here is the mapping. This down here is the wave. The waveform will show you what's going on with whatever's mapped to the key. So we're going to delete this, and that's fine, because you're, you, if you, you're going to, I'm going to show you how to save it. So let's take the sample that we just made and drag and drop into contact. There it is has a lot of reverb on it from the old preset. Now down here you have a start and end time and this is where you can change where the sample starts. Okay, and where it ends as well. Okay, it's pretty easy to use. Now let's pitch this up by taking and dragging the corner of the mapping down or up where to the right and to the left to go down. Okay, so there is the sound. Now, it's really easy to do. Let's turn this up. Let's scroll back up, click the wrench, and now we're back on the interface. Okay, and then you have your controls, like if you want to be legato, right? Or if you want to be poly polyphonic, we could turn the voicing count up. It's really easy to do. Just navigate around. We have the attack, decay, sustain, the glide time. Reverb. And that's with the sample that you just created. So you can really create these from your own vocal chops. You can just say things. Just get creative with it. You'd be surprised what turns out to be really cool. But... Um, but yeah, that's really all you have to do there to really get a cool vocal chop. Now, again, you're just going to be hitting the wrench, clicking and dragging and dropping the sample onto the mapping editor and choosing the key. It helps to know what pitch you were at. But if the pitch is wrong, you can always change the tuning right up here on contact. Like, let's say this note was not a C. I don't know what it was, but let's say it was like, a, like an A and I need to get it up to a C. I could pitch this up a few semitones here. We'd want three, like let's say in our hypothetical, it was an A and we wanted it to be C. Right, you can just change the tuning that way. It's really straightforward. So how do you save this? Well, you can hit File, you can go to Save As, and then save it anywhere you want. You can save it directly into the Evoxa folder, which I would suggest doing. So then you would just go uh, navigate to your Evoxa folder. We'll do that right now. And then we can just name it, uh, well, I'll name this Test Vocals. And then make sure you do Monolithic. Monolithic will then save the sample into the actual preset so there's not duplicate folders. Hit save, 
And there it is. You have, there's, it says test vocal. So it's that easy, guys. You can import your own samples, really anything you want, into Evoxa. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for purchasing Evoxa. I hope you guys make some really cool music with it. I'll see you next time.